And finally, the fact checker's final 2012 report card is in. The dreaded Pinocchios have been tallied. And Governor Romney has been judged slightly less truthful. 2.4 Pinocchios on average versus Obama's 2.1. But how exactly are these fibs factored? The man behind Pinocchio, Glenn Kessler, does that make you Geppetto if you're the man behind Pinocchio? <laughs> Joins us to explain the secret sauce. People always ask me, like, what, what makes something two Pinocchios? What makes it four Pinocchios? So I thought on the eve of the election is a nice chance to try to explain how that works. Well, it's, it's, it, this is probably the most difficult part of the job mm -hmm. that I find. Because it's one thing to find out what the facts are. It's another thing to then to do it, apply this rating. And you know, a one could be something that is relatively truthful, but it's lacking context. Okay. You know, it may have some facts behind it, but it's, it doesn't really tell you much. A two can even have some factual basis, but it could be cherry picked. The data could be manipulated in some way. With a three, you end up in a, you know, really crossing the line. And that's where I find the hardest. You should know better. Right. You really should know better. And that's where I'm fi I find often the, the line between a two and a three is the hardest to judge. A four, it's just a whopper, where there's just really no basis in fact, or you've just gone completely off the rails. So let's go through uh, four examples, a one, two, three, and a four, and you can describe, you know, why you gave each of them that rating. The first one is, uh, comes from a debate and uh, President Obama responding to uh, Mitt Romney complaining that he hasn't had enough uh, oil production. Here and with respect to this pipeline that Governor Romney keeps on talking about, we've Create, we've built enough pipeline to wrap around the entire earth once. One Pinocchio. One Pinocchio. So, yes, the United States under Barack Obama has built enough pipeline to go around the world once. I mean, another way to phrase it is that, you know, we've added like one half of 1% additional pipeline. So it's a factual thing. But it's kind of, you know, we can't argue with the fact of the amount of pipeline being built. But it's lacking context because... You know, it doesn't really mean much. Now we up it to two for this Mitt Romney statement. He said, after the stimulus was passed, the White House promised the economy would be growing at 4.3% over twice as fast. It turns out that figure came from a projection. It wasn't a promise. It was just an estimate by the White House but, uh, Economic Office. I'm sorry, the White House Budget Office. Right. But, you know, they're forced to make these kind of projections far in advance doesn't really tell you that much. Okay, so so far pretty timid stuff. Now we're getting into inching towards Whopper territory. Let's see what earned three Pinocchios. Governor Romney believes that with even bigger tax cuts for the wealthy and fewer regulations on Wall Street, all of us will prosper. In other words, he doubled down on the same trickle-down policies that led to the crisis in the first place. Why did that get three? Well, uh, first of all, one thing I do is I judge more harshly things that are in, a, in an ad or a prepared statement, something where you can tell that people had really thought carefully what, what they were going to say. Right, this is a campaign ad. And the, the problem is, is that the, 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 the tax, there's no evidence that the tax cuts pro, in, introduced by George W. Bush had anything to do with the economic crisis that we faced. And then he talks about regulation, and the regulations here actually these were things that Bill Clinton had introduced. Okay, finally up the scale we go. Four Pinocchios, let's see what earned it. Obama took GM and Chrysler into bankruptcy and sold Chrysler to Italians who are going to build Jeeps in China. Mitt Romney will fight for every American job. You didn't like this Jeeps to China thing. And right, well, and this is a very interesting case because each individual sentence has an element of truth to it. But you add it up and it presents a very misleading portrait. So the overall effect of this made it a four Pinocchio ad. The 2012 cycle, roughly as dishonest as prior ones, or are we getting better, are we getting worse? Well, you know, in general, I think, you know, neither candidate covered themselves with glory. But what made this campaign season seem so negative was the introduction of all those super PAC ads. Sure. Which generally, if it's a super back ad, it's almost always going to be three or four Pinocchios. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a good standard. You need to like adjust the scale. Yeah, a right. super back ad yeah. that's only two Pinocchios, maybe that's the truth. That's right. <laughs> Glenn, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Uh, that's going to do it for us for today. Uh, keep in mind that we have a very special edition, a live extended edition of The Fold coming up on election night. We'll start with uh, updates at the top of the 7 and 8 o'clock hour and then uh, full coverage starting at 9 p.m. Eastern and going late into the night, heck, going into Wednesday morning. So we hope to uh, see you for that. Good night.